Hey Jen Chem students, this is the third experiment in Chem 101 lab. I am Ben Asman and today we get to break federal law by uh, dissolving a penny in nitric acid to do a spectroscopic determination of copper concentration. Let's get to it. Here's our penny. We want to make sure we record the date. Zero our scale. Here's our six molar nitric acid solution, of course, in water. We are gonna need 30 mils of this. And a 150 mil beaker. Add our penny into here. Add our nitric acid as well. That usually takes about 10 minutes so let me zoom in and let's put this aside. Okay, for the next part, we're gonna need some copper nitrate. We need approximately 20 mils worth. And so I'll take some for myself. That way the other students can use it too. And our first sample here for our volumetric, you'll notice here that's the line we wanna to fill to. Uh, this is our 10 mil volumetric. So here's my volumetric. You can see the graduations on it. I'm gonna have a pipette bulb here and suck this up. I'm gonna overshoot it on purpose and then change it to a finger. Now that it's on the finger, I have control and I can slowly ease off of the finger. If you have it down in the, the, the solution, it will go even slower a little bit more control. And when it's down to the meniscus and you're happy with that, you can come here and add it to your volumetric. Remember, do not blow out that little bit. This is to dispense, not to contain. Finally, we have here just a little bit more DI water. We want just enough to get it to that line. So the meniscus is just at that line. There we go. Take that, close, invert, invert. Shake it if you want, invert. Invert, invert, that should be good. This is our first sample. This is, I have here some label test tubes because we're gonna reuse this. Transfer that in here. That one got eight mils of our standard. Rinse this out. I am gonna use this as waste. Rinse it out. Rinse this out at least three times. You don't have to get it super dry on the inside. You're gonna be adding more water anyway. Repeat for all the others. Once you finish all the standards, they should look give or take something like this. Now moving back on to the penny. Okay, once this is done, should look about like this. That's assuming you used a relatively modern penny. If you use an older penny, you can look like that. You can see this one still hasn't finished. It's still down there. Uh, this is a penny before 1983. So this is not, this is too dark for you to use. Uh, you won't be able to read this one properly. You want it to look like that. And then we have here our 50 mil volumetric. Take that, add that in. And for this one, the line is right there. And so I am going to fill with water to the line. There we go. Cap and invert a few times. Make sure that bubble through. Now that's equally spread and you can use this Notice that our unknown here uh, is very similar in color 
to all of our known, our calibration curve. If it isn't, if it's not between these, we're gonna have a really hard time measuring exactly how much is there. There's two types of spectrometers. This is the older version. It has a switch back here to turn it on. Uh, this takes a while, make sure you do that in advance. If you get one of these newer machines, the uh, on button's down here. Again, you wanna turn it on early so you have enough time for it to warm up. We're gonna go to this one, the OD600. Uh, move it around with this, enter to go in. Then you can set your value to 800. Okay, okay. Now you can take your cuvette. We're using plastic cuvettes for this. We're gonna fill this one up with just DI water. And then we're gonna take a Kim wipe and we wanna wipe down the sides because uh, our oils will, from our fingers, will because uh, the oils from our fingers will make a difference. Because the oils from our fingers will make a difference in the observativity. And now we're going to run background. See, we cleared for background. Take this. Once again, remove that. Have a little waste container here. We dump that. And now we need to dry this, the inside too. We don't want to leave that in because that will adjust the actual concentration by having just dilute water. So clean the inside, make sure it's, that's nice and dry. Clean the outside. Take our very first sample, starting here with the two, and fill her up. Open, place, close. And then this green button to read, there's our first value. Copy that down, repeat that for all of them, including your unknown.